All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2023 thriller film called The Royal Hotel. Here is the plot. Canadians Hannah and Liv are backpacking in Australia and take a temporary live-in job in a remote outback mining town. Soon they find themselves trapped in an unnerving situation that grows rapidly out of their control. Now here is the cast. Now what's super interesting about this film is that there was zero score and zero soundtrack. Some just natural sounds and of everything around them including the radio when it was playing. I had no clue what to expect which way the story was going to go even after reading the description and watching a small part of the trailer. But the story felt, uh, it felt like it was leading to something and after one hour and 30 minutes i still don't get what was the point of this film honestly the ending kind of sucked as well and made no sense as well the actresses that played hannah and Liv was fantastic without a doubt i definitely was not surprised about that but we got no real backstory to why they left canada because of the troubles here's my ready now come back my fall thoughts Funny thing is, I was enjoying the film to a point, but not only did the story not pay off, I was flabbergasted by how the love story and the story as a whole went a direction that would make no sense. Uh, I was disappointed with the story, but not the acting, the acting, shooting, and uh, shooting choices, and the ba no background sound is the only thing that really stood out to me about this film. Uh, this is again an hour and 30 minutes and I by the time it ended I was shocked because I thought hey I was really enjoying this I'm still waiting to see where this leads to uh, and what type of film this is it's it's definitely a dramatic type of, of thing but it's just like I don't even get the messaging behind it if there was any um, but it was just, there was nothing really to the story. It was just them the whole time in the bar, uh, you know, and outside the bar, but still within the range of the bar in the middle of nowhere and just interacting with, with drunks and, and having their love stories and how the love stories or one particular went, it was kind of just mind boggling that kind of like if they were going with a different story by that time you know like something more tragic where in the first one it was more obviously there was chemistry and stuff but later on it just kind of just went a whole darker direction that made no sense for, to me to make the characters the two characters that were the love male interests in this um but it just the story in general just went nowhere for me it, it, it's just like it was the whole one hour and 30 minutes was it was like the first f f half of the film of a film that was going to go in a direction of dramaticness or type of, of, of thriller or something like that. So it just went nowhere and it was, it, it was a very disappointing film. Um, when it came to that, the story specifically, everything else again was fine, but... Um, yeah, so that's really all. Unfortunately, I have to say about this film, which is kind of a lot. Um, I don't recommend it. Uh, I don't know what the director has done in, other than this. Um, but, and it's, and I don't know if she did the writing with this, but yeah, it, it, it wasn't great. Um, when it came to the story. Everything else is great. Um, but yeah, remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. And, uh, remember, spread the love most importantly. I love you. Skull.